everybody, welcome back to the channel and a continuation of our Rogue Tech series here. I still haven't figured out what the name is going to be. I'm taking my time to record this um, because I don't often get a quiet house. So I'm going to take the time to record before I've actually got the title and the opening animation done. But anyway, um, we're going to continue on from yesterday. So yesterday we took a half skull mission, base defense, or uh, a uh, base destruction mission. Picked, out a hand, picked up a handful of bit of salv salvage, not a whole lot. Just wanted to see how the Lance was going to operate. So first thing we're going to do today is we're going to go to the command center, or sorry, the barracks, check out our pilots. We got a little, like a handful of points yesterday. Orders. Now I did change a couple of the things about some of the pilots here. So um, I renamed a couple of them. So Griff is going to be our Griffin pilot. Um, and of course I give everybody a uniform. All of our uh, mech pilots have got the this kind of gray suit. And then our vehicle pilots have got the, uh, the blue uh, with the uh, collar up around here. So uh, I changed a couple of names. Um, Ivory was uh, Ironclaw, I think, at one point. Or was that Undertow? I can't remember. But I changed some of the names just because I wanted to make sure everybody came underneath Granite. So I changed a couple of names. Um, and we changed the one Honda. mech pilot's name to Taserface. We got a few points here, so we're going to spend some points. Tactics first, I think, for better sensor rules. I think early on we're not really worried too much about punching out. We might get some mechs that want to punch, or pilots that want to punch out. I'm ready for but I don't know. Uh, so this is our vehicle pilot, so we're going to put one on piloting. Not a big deal. Oh, I try to get everything up to fours across the board when I'm doing my pilots first, yeah. and then I specialize. So uh, roundup, same thing. We'll get some sensors and initiative. Uh, Puka, we got no nothing on, and you're good you? to go. Okay, so go into the command center real quick. Hey, commander. Pull up a chair. Uh, let's go and do uh, this guy, I think, here. Green and Force have been scouting territory near Russell Head controlled land. We're going to go ahead and take this one. One and a half skull. I'm interested to see how we do. It's Karina Forces. There's this one here as well. Um, I don't know local government units. I think based on the price, though. You know what? Let's... Uh, hmm. I just have a feeling that this is going to have reinforcements and this one's not. That's the only reason why I'm choosing this one over the other one. So let's go this route. And we're going to go full salvage, of course. Still early in, early in the game. And we've got our lance already set up and ready to go, so let's go. Command interface initiated. Alright, here we are. Uh, okay, this is the area where they were last detected. Let's not get killed. Hopefully it's one unit. So we got a fairly oh, small battlefield. Okay. And they're up here. Uh, yeah, I think we want to start up here as well. But I'm going to pull back, I think, behind this hill. Kind of in the trees here. Since I have no idea where they're starting. So let's just back it up a bit. Allow our range units to do some damage. Okay, looks like we've got a vehicle here. Pegasus. Yeah, looks like this might be an easy one. Maybe it looks like a pair of Pegasus. Pegasi? Pegasus? Where's the other one? That's oh, a striker. Alright, this should go quickly, I think. Then we can maybe do a second one. Alright, um... I don't want to give up my initiative on this one. So we are going to move on the first turn. Generate a lot of evasion. Let's get up here. Hopefully we can bring into uh, contact the other enemies here. No, uh, it better be more than just the two. Maybe it, uh, maybe one of those r ridiculously bad rolls. Or we could be facing stealth boys. That's a possibility. Let's get out here. Looking out. Just getting in the open so that I can uh, move a little quicker. He has no point in even firing. Hey. Just wasting ammo at this point. All right, there's a direct shot. Eh, kind of lousy. We got lots of ammo, so let's go ahead and fire. He's panicking already? 
Oh, so there is somebody else. Waiting on you, Commander. Looks like it's a full uh, vehicle, Lance, so... I don't like... Go I gotta... <laughs> we took the most damage from our own guy last battle. Actually, I don't even think we got hit by anybody else other than the shot we, we put in our own guy's back. So I want to make sure we're not doing that again this time. No sweat. I'm going to fire even though it's a lousy chance to hit. Ah, well. Not a big deal. So 12, that should be the striker. Or hunter. Yeah, good luck with that. So Hunter, I think, has got a yep. large laser, LRM-10 or something like that, or maybe it's not, maybe there's not even a large laser. Okay, we're just going to move up. We're not going to bother firing our missiles on this one. We're just going to get up here. Man, the Talos, I wonder if it's even going to get into battle. We're going to have to find a bigger core. Hopefully we can find a Clan XL at some point. Heavy Pharaoh, get a Rack 5 for the one arm, and then like some clan launchers, whether they're SRMs or LRMs or something for the other launchers, for the other areas. Maybe an AMS and a TAG or something like that. See ya. That's somebody new. It's a tank it looks like. Get in the open so we got some movement for next turn. Can't tell what it is. Oh, we got. I should have just shot. We got we got 24 turns of firing. So. All right, let's move up. See if we can get sensors on these guys. Copy that. There we go. Now, can I? Chameleon, Chameleon's already on. And I guess the Nova is always automatically on, so... Can't jam their sensors or anything. I think it's just an automatic thing. Oh, Chasseur. Chasseur. Hunter. Scimitar. Recon. Scimitar. Standing by. Well, this is going to be a boring long-range battle, but... Can't have excitement in every battle, I guess. It's one of the reasons why, I, like in my last kind of series, I was like, what do you need? just really showing like the good combats, because it's like sometimes you get good, good uh, matchups, and then other times are like this, where it's like I was hoping for you know like a couple of mediums and a couple of light mechs, and end up with four vehicles, so. Kind of take what you can get, I guess. This is just going to be a long battle of the will nots where it's like low chances to hit and very minimal damage until somebody dies. I think this guy's got an AC5. Are you shooting or are you just going to... He's you. stressing out, that's what it is. Under a lot of stress lately. Got it. Max speed, no shooting. Stay under the trees because I want to have a better chance to hit. Uh, drop the sensors in there. It should get all of those guys if we land them. Yep, perfect. That should help a little bit, I guess. No. I guess. Huh. Oh, a little better from over here. Let's go here. Going as fast as I can. Like her. Well, thank her very much. Come on. Well, at least he doesn't have a lot of armor. As soon as one of the large laser la la one of the large lasers land. That should give us enough of an opening to, uh... So, 
Did these guys just get detected as well? No. What's up, boss? Can't be how it works. As much as I want to go there, I'm liable to shoot my guys in the back, so let's not say we did. Let's get up over here. 1.9, 11. Let's go for the damage. If we can get one shot on, great. There we go. Landed one. So that's a couple mediums. LRM 10. Maybe a small and some machine guns. Commander. Uh... Let's get up over here. We're going to keep the uh, sensors on these guys. At least we, we got, I mean, we're not going to have sight, but at least we'll have something. Help out with the chance to hit. Alright, well, at least we, have, we might get a little bit of visual. At least we, I mean, we've got ki some kind of visual on them. What can I do for you? Alright, uh, what you can do is land with that large laser, for fuck's sakes. This guy's heating up fast. 23... 32, take this shot. I mean, I kind of prefer the side shots, but... Got it. There goes the laser off in the middle of nowhere. Ooh, that looked like a pen, but... There's no guarantee. That sounds like an AC-10 to me. Could be a 5, though. Could be a 5... Okay, I gotta get in the fire line. I was gonna shoot from back here, but it's just gonna be LRM-5, so... Still gonna be 5s, but at least we're getting closer to getting that AC-10 in range. Wouldn't mind grabbing that medium pulse laser. Come on, you guys. There you go. Close with us a little bit. Four points of damage. How dare you? Nice try. I'm here. Do you know how long it took me to buff out the damage last from the last episode? Like two hours. Two <coughs> hours. Uh. Let's try and secure a kill here. Let's go after this guy. Okay. He's already damaged. Okay, there's the large laser. We might be able to get a kill on that guy this turn if he doesn't uh, move away from us. I know I've said it in the past, I'll say it again. Scott Pilgrim is still one of the best movies I've ever seen. It's so quotable. Do you know how long it took me to form this stupid league? Like two hours! Two <coughs> hours! <laughs> Still, one of the. <laughs> I don't think the the uh, actor was right for Gideon Gideon Graves, but he played him well. All right. Um, yep. If they're gonna hide, we're gonna close. Let's get up here. Let's move. Keep the LRMs on that Pegasus, though. Might be able to knock this guy out. Roger. We got lucky. A couple lucky hits and just take him out. We might sick taser Targeting face on him though. Janky. Orders? Targeting systems janky. Get to nope. Here. On my way. Double time. Let's go. I copy. Just want that lucky hit. Either that or start a fire where he's sitting. Got some fire damage. I mean, I guess I could run into melee, but... The accuracy of my guys is just like, I don't know. Probably a bad idea. Let's just try and stay close to them. Stay out of sight, stay close. Keep some eyes on if we can. It's pretty good sensors. Come 
Come on, you bastards. 15. Who's going on 15? Oh, the hunter. Alright. Hey. Hey. I think we go after the hunter. It's the same on either, so... LRM 10, yeah, some mediums. It's probably a small at the end there. There goes the laser, shooting the infantry off in the hills. Aye, aye. Get that beast up here. Yeah, I'm not going to go for that line of sight. We're going to head this way and go down the hill. No shooting, just run. We got to close with got this it. AC, so that's what we're going to do. At least attempt to do. 11%, we'll take the 11. Okay, he's panicking. Of course he is. We're the terrors of the inner sphere. Okay, back to the sensors, please. Yep. Doing anything, or you're just gonna... Not doing anything. I hear ya. Not doing anything. Let's go for the finishing shot here, if we can get it. Ooh, at least we hit that with the laser, but... Not getting the right side. Alright, we got one more sensor launch, and then we're done. At least they're staying where their sensors are. That's kind of a bonus. Yeah, see, detected three, four, sixteen. I'm pretty sure this guy's got an AC ten. Yeah. What do you need? Yupper. Let's get here. All right, full speed. I'm not thrilled about the position, but I'm trying to get the kill on the Pegasus here. Ooh, that was a nice little reflection there. Nice. Got past the receiving you. Got past the armor. Going Let's get up here. Throttle. Drop some lerms on that motherfucker. Firing. Come on, just plink with one. Yeah. Negative damage. That's all right. Orders. Yeah, if we contain our shooting to the other side. We can only do a charge though, eh? Yeah, forget it then. Let's get back to here. Holding off. I'm going to uh, rely on our ability to uh, have enough evasion that they can't hit me. I mean, they still could, in theory, but let's get this tag going. Alright, well, we got the tag on him anyway. Taser, misfire, damaged. I hate using stuff that gets damaged like that. Like, it's it's nice to use, like, the taser if it's reliable, but if it's not reliable, like, That's all you it's got. frustrating. Good thing it's only got five rounds. I'm here. All right, we're going to straight up target the Pegasi, or do we want to go after, what are we on, 15? So, who else goes on 15? Talos. Like, I want to try to apply more damage to the hunter, so let's go after the hunter. Oh, no, just the laser. Yeah, we may have got the, P the Pegasus with that shot, but I would rather do more damage to the hunter at this point. Ooh, a whole point damage, eh? Just worried that it's going to land one of those shots.
Man, are we actually going to get into this battle? I'm crying out loud. All right, let's just actually cycle through. Take the best chance. Seventeen on the hunter. We'll take the. We'll take the hunter. Wow, hold not. Hold on, nothing, huh? I missed. You did. Waiting on you, commander. Let's go this route. Time to die. Damn it! We've only landed like one laser hit, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, can we do it without going through the fire? Sure can. Save a couple points damage against us. And that's pretty nice there. We'll take that. Aye, aye. Not quite enough, though. Oof. So, is that... Does this guy only have, like, a... What the hell does he have? Oh, he's got, like, one point left on the side here. Don't know why he's not moving through that minefield, though, because it doesn't do damage. At least I don't think it does. Ooh, haywired. That's interesting. So he must have a uh, Bye. a narc launcher, which means that would be a nice get. We can replace the taser with the narc launcher. If the haywire does the same thing, the t like the uh, narc launcher is a lot less in weight. I think I think it's only two tons. There we go. First, first blood. One more for the trash heap. All right, we got one yes, on damaged. Now. Let's get over here. See if we can get the tag on. I'm staying away from that AC-10. This guy, I mean, his armor's okay, but like, he could take a torso hit and strip all his armor. But I would rather not take take the chance and get hit. Leave the taser off. Roll to that. Can't even land the tag, eh? That's fine. No joy. I can't believe this is a one and a half skull. It it feels like a half skull to me, but whatever. Okay, good. Finally going through the sensors, are you? Ooh, we landed a shot too. Good shooting text. Minimal damage. Yes, Commander. There we go. Get some armor up in here. Alright, well, I mean, at least we're heat neutral this time. So we got a narc launcher, a pair of serum fours, and a tag. That narc launcher would be nice. Putting up some big numbers. <laughs> Whole 20 points damage. I guess those sensors must do like one point damage. What can I do for you? Okay, we're gonna come down. We're gonna move forward. Leave that off. Put everything else back on. Sensors, firing. At least we'll have some speed now. Get up this hill. Okay. Hey. You don't need to move. And this is your target, regardless of whether you want to shoot at him or not. I hope you hurt. Oh yes. Ooh. Critical hit, Commander. Doing help. You're doing better than all the mech pilots. Well, we want to get one more in today if we can. Target acquired. So that guy's already gone. So who do we got yeah, now? Commander. That's a back shot. Where were you hit, though? Yeah, you're done. You are done, monsieur. We don't even need to move. 
There's no point in moving. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. What do you need? You, on the other hand, should move. You're turreted, so it's okay. We'll move over here. Such a weird looking tank, but whatever. Alright, fine. Hell yeah. Yeah, vehicle's doing way more damage than the uh, mechs are, that's for sure. Let's finish this guy up. See if we can get the tag on here. Get into a position where we can surround him. This thing's already taken one bit of damage, but let's fire it, see if we can get it on him. Nope. So we could slow him down a bit if he tries to get away from us, but waiting on you, Commander. Whatever. All right, everything. All weapons are go. All right, funny a laser head from that guy. That is. All out of short range missiles, Commander. Yeah. Finally getting into the battle. Position confirmed. Hopefully we can get this last kill. Rockets up. Here it comes. Fuck's sake. Short range missiles are out. There's a reason why you had to go off on your own. You didn't get a chance to inherit till later on. Takes your whole family being killed for you to be able to inherit anything good. Because <laughs> you're such a bad pilot. Actually, he's not that bad. Could be worse. Come on, send me a real. What now? I need you to finish this guy off, is what now? Okay. Nope. Waiting for orders. On my way. Don't like surrounding him like this, because if he gets into the midst of us, it's going to be hard to shoot him without having to worry about hitting our own guys, but. Yeah. I think it'll be fine. Got it. Hope it'll be fine. Targeting for an alpha. Oh, just bail out. Okay, don't bail out. Commander. Don't bail out then. Firing all weapons. Nothing. Oh, I hear you. Yeah, it's I, I know you missed it, but it's fine. We should finish this up right here and now. Uh-huh. Come on. Yes. Finally. Mission successful. All right, we're, I think we're uh, 175, finally we're making a little bit of money towards the financial report. We should be able to do one more before the month's out. The nearest planet to jump to, that's like a half skull, is like 19 days, so we're not in an optimal position to like go back and forth. Holy shit, you want the two points of the recon vehicle, but you're going to give me two Guardian ECMs. Uh, it's a tough choice, but okay. <laughs> Sure. Are you on drugs? Okay, so there's the narc launcher. Take that. Where are those Guardian ECMs? We've got a Beagle probe. That'd be nice too. But I think we grab a couple of those guys. Oh, the Pharaoh's there too. Hang on. Narc ECM. Reduces target stealth... Or mimetic abilities by two. I think we take the beacon. Because I don't think we're going to encounter very many stealth mechs. And this is going to help everybody right now. So let's grab that. I think we take one Guardian ECM and hope we get a second one. With my fudging rule that sometimes works. And we'll take the Pharaoh. Because I want to put that on the Talos. So we can get some more back armor. So when we get shot in the back again by our own guys. I don't have to worry about it blowing through to the engine. Sound like a plan, Stan? I'd like to take the regular AC-10 ammo because I don't think we need 20 shots, but I think these are probably more important. Well, <sighs> we 
working for the immediate. I don't know where the Guardian would go at the moment. I mean, we could put it on the Talos, but I want armor more than anything. And we can get it doing it this way with this. We'll get armor with doing it this way. So let's go that route, see what we get out of this. 200 and a scimitar piece. The AC-10, that's nice for a backup. LRM-10. Paramediums. Beagle probe, nice. The 105 can probably just go. The 140... Let's hang on to that, depending on what kind of mechs we get in the future. Uh, we might use that. LRM safe. Only 90 rounds though, right? Um, let's hang on to it, because if we lose LRM moment, I'm going to hang on to both SRM for now as well. Alright, cool. Alright, so almost no damage. We took, we took a couple of points. So, uh, the question is now, let's just wait... So with the Griffins, no, we're not going to do anything to the Griffin, but we'll, I want to affect those two mechs. So let's wait one day. And then I want to see here. We want to get one more battle in before the end of the month. This thing took damage to the Taser, but we're going to get rid of that. Not storage. Uh, refit. This should be, like, the refit button should be right here. Uh, so we're going to pull a Taser out anyway. Because I want to get the Narc Launcher in, but I think I want to put it on the arm. And we're going to move the light tag to this arm. And then ammo. Put the beacon ammo here for now. And we've got a full two tons left. This weighs how much? One and a half tons? Two tons. Three. Well, how much did this weigh? That, this was three, right? That's four. Five. Right. Okay, so we, got, we gained two tons. So then let's go ahead and put weapons on here. So maybe we do leave... Let's leave the narc launcher and the tag on the torsos for now, because we've only got one hard point on each arm. We'll put the small X pulse on this arm, and then the small Rex laser on this arm. And that maxes it out almost. Uh, somehow we managed to get a couple of extra points here in armor. Take one off that and put an extra point on each side here. We can take just over a medium laser blast in the torso back. Let's try that. This is a far more offensive vehicle. And we've got the, the ability to tag the enemy to be able to, sp everyone else to spot them. So let's go ahead. To, it's only one day too, so we'll do that. Logged now Talos, I'm concerned about. I don't think, if we can sneak this in in six days of work, then that's great. So Pharaoh's one day, okay. So that's one ton available. And then we're taking the AC-10 ammo out. And dropping this ammo in. Now the question then becomes, how long is it going to take to upgrade the armor? It usually takes a fair bit. I want to max out my shield arm. If we can just sneak in here. Um... Want to make sure my back is nice and juicy here. A couple more points there. A couple more on the torsos. Alright, so let's go there, 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 and there. Seven days, perfect. Oh, wait, that's our financial report. Shoot. Uh, how much armor would we have to pull off to like have it go to six days? Right there, we can't quite get it full. Actually, let's go with the one, two, and a bit and take off this arm. That'll be six days and enough time, I believe, to get right. it back. I'll get it in the schedule. Yeah, just before the financial report ends, and then we can go into battle again. Beautiful. So let's advance the timeline. We're going to take one more battle today. Oh, wait, what the... How did that change? Ah, fuck. Whatever. Not much I can do about it now. That work order you Ready to go I know what it did. Whenever you are. I know what happened. It was six days, but there was two other mechs in the bay in front of it. That's why I forgot to shift it up. 
That's my bad. Oh well. Uh, well, if we did that, then let's go ahead and go ahead, max out that armor properly then. Yeah, I know. That's me overlooking stuff again. On it. I'll let you know when that's done. Beautiful. Done, All right, let's do this. Um, command center. And Rasselhag. All right. Satellite local government units operating in a region where they shouldn't be, where they, where they want to put a medical convoy through. So, so technically a mission of mercy. That's what we think. Sure. Let's go do this. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Local government, I don't like this map. All right, well, oh, they're right down here. Um, this puts us in a really narrow plane. Uh, let's get down. Oh, they, I think they got reinforcements. They're, oh, maybe not. They're spread out through here, I think. Normally, you start on this side of the map, right, and work your way up the hill. I don't like working my way up the hill. I mean, we can't even get... Oh, we can get over here. There's a road right there. It's hard to see, I know, but there's a road that goes up here. Let's take it. Yeah, let's try something different this time. Let's go on this side. They might have reinforcements. I got a feeling they've got reinforcements. If we land here, we might detect them early. Or it could be wrong. Climate for battle, Max. Is it? It's a better climate for battle, Max, I would imagine. All right, we're going up the hill. Move order received. Coordinates received. Going up the hill. Let's keep our vehicles in the trees. There. Okay. Start. Got it. Position Face confirmed. them towards the enemy just in case they decide to shoot missiles at us or something. All right, got contacts here. What do we got? Finally, some mechs. Crosscut. Eh. Really. All right, TF. Let's go see what we got. Copy that. Yep, yeah, we got spot. Oh, oh, oh no. All right, we're not in a bad position. What's this guy? A raptor. Ooh. How does a local government force have a raptor? Sentinel. Hunchback 1G. See, now that was more what I was expecting in the last mission. 35. Oof, I think we need to target this guy, though. I know this doesn't matter. But we're going to do those first, just in case. So, he might have a uh, AMS, though I'm not seeing it here. Oh, he does. Ad integrated Advanced AMS. Ooh, it would be nice to pick up a Raptor, eh? Three improved ATMs, which are basically streak, streak ATMs. Clan, ooh. That's some good gear right there. Targeting for an alpha strike. Everything hit. I think I got his legs with the uh, laser hits. Oh, a, a leg, one leg hit and a back hit. Wait a minute. He must have already been damaged. Not worried about that guy. He might have a Gauss right. Oh, Ultra 5. Oh, wow, they got some good gear. That's an immediate upgrade for the Talos if we can get that. I don't mind the AC-10, but once again, the single fire weapons, unless you've got... I don't want to say guaranteed of a good chance to hit. But unless you've got a good chance to hit, it's like... I don't know. Having that much weight, like a 10-ton AC-10... That does 60 damage with a hit and miss. I, I don't know. You're just better off having something that you got multiple chances to hit and doing some damage. Shit, those better not be mines. I think they're like. I think that was a mine dispenser. What can I do for you? Okay, I'm not going after the Raven first. Let's stay out of the range of the Hunchback. Look, let's, look, let's take a look at this crosscut and see if we can smoke his ass here. We can get him out of the battle early. Ah, uh, not that great. Uh, we got... Oh, we got 25. That's still only five shots, though, because it launches five every dispenser. 
I want to save that for the Raven, so let's go after this guy. You yeah, fucking ridiculous AMS, man. Orders. They'll run out of ammo sooner or later. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Just keep using the missiles. We got lots of them. Hopefully you just use some more AMS. Integrated laser AMS is an issue too because it's lucky that one. If it's gonna be continuously firing, it's gonna jack his heat up. So in the end it's gonna be worse off for him. Alright, we switched to standard here for this. If you don't know the difference between Artemis and Standard, Artemis really only works well if you have a direct line of sight. If you don't, use standard ammo, because it's pretty much the same chance to hit. So and especially if he's going to be burning his AMS, you might as well uh, yeah. be firing the ammo you don't give a shit about. Confirmed. Keep on that cross cut for now until we can get a direct line of sight. Firing. Copy that. Yeah, you keep firing that AMS. All right, we landed one. Ready for orders. Same idea. I don't see his heat going up though. It sound it doesn't sound like it's a laser AMS though. Firing. He should burn through his ammo real quick though. Oh, it's jammed now. Beautiful. Just in time for us to crest the hill and paste him. Maybe not these guys, but these two. Yeah, you better back the fuck up. Oh, he's not shooting. Interesting. Commander. Yeah, so those are mines. I don't like this idea. 39 mines though if I go this way. Sixteen. It's a little better this way, but it puts me in direct line of sight of this guy. You know what? I think this is the best way to go. Maybe Minimize the mine damage. Yeah. How much do we take here? Shit. It's a good chunk. Ah, uh, nothing important hit. Nothing hit actually. Reporting negative damage. I hear you. Wish we could just target this crosscut. Oh, we can, right there. Okay, his AMS is down, but this guy's I don't think is. Uh, we're still gonna go with everything. Got it. Yes. Okay, laser hit. Looked like it was a leg hit. Nope, CT. Beautiful. I don't mind just coring that guy. This is the guy with the Ultra 5. Okay. I don't mind you trading off with the Talos. Talos has got the armor to take it. It's this guy I'm worried about. The 1G. I think it's the AC-10 version. I really should learn my numbers, but I just don't remember them. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Except, except he's got uh, tandem ammo. Hopefully he jams there. Tandem ammo is nice, but it, it adds a jam chance to the uh, launchers. Alright, well, Artemis it is. If we can eliminate the crosscut, then we've got these guys trapped. Yep. Okay, can I sprint up here? I can, and we can get a shot away too. Beautiful. Nice. Take this. Crap, we missed with the LBX. Waiting for orders. And you're not going to get a shot off direct line of sight. You can here on the Sentinel, though. Full speed. Let's no just see target. what that is before we... I, I'm probably going to launch the LRM-10s here. What's oh, 13%? Nope, we're launching it here. Now let's see how you handle this. Nothing. 
no luck. That's all right. That's all right, everybody. We all right. Wait, is this the rifled version? Is the one G where they want the two rifles, the light and medium rifles? It is. So it's the old version. Okay, good. What do you need? That's like good news for us. I'm gonna walk. Location confirmed. If I run, it's just gonna lower my chance to hit. Ooh, that's pretty juicy. Um, that's a low chance there. We'll save those rockets for later. Gage. Ah, man, right over his head. Yes, Commander. Okay, I want you to reserve. Waiting for the right move. Yeah, you bet. You wait right there, because we may have to move in and uh, we may have to push this guy, depending on what the Raptor does. Here he comes. Commander? We still gotta kill this guy, this crosscut, so I can get on this side here. I don't like the fact that he's sitting right there. Uh, let's leave this off to save a bit of heat. Nice. Got past the armor. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, ER PPC plus capacitor. He's got an ER PPC and a capacitor. It's destroyed. Yeah, I'm good with that. You shoot me. Leave my other guys alone. Crosscut lost his side. Okay, so I think we use the, cep the cephalus to go after that guy. Wait, what side did he lose? Yeah, that's right. He lost that side. Okay. Affirmative. He's just not showing up here, so I, I wasn't sure what side he had lost. Uh, yeah. Because now I can switch the Talos over to somebody else, and we'll let the vehicles finish that guy up, I think. I think the Ares should be able to finish him up. Chasing the fuck out of there. You and your friggin' tandem ammo. That got through my armor, Commander. Yeah. There's a lot of nice things here on the battlefield. Except for this guy. Okay. Well, Alright, Pukit, let's get uh, the Talos gone if we can. Hmm. No way we can do it and remain hauled down to these other guys. Oh, wait, maybe over here. Like that. Going as fast as I Excellent. Can. Hopefully this is a finishing blow here. Looks like it might be. I hope. Yep. There we go. Enemy mech destroyed. And yes, just clear. like that, we're up one. Jeez. <sighs> Roger. Definitely not the best, but we're gonna go for the best chance to hit, I guess. On oh, the AC hit. Nice. Keep this guy looking at me while the Cephalus comes around from behind. What do you need? Moving to I know the Hunchback is like the least of our worries and I'm shooting on him right now, but... We're setting up to go after that Raven next turn. Now. Plus these Zorias are so lightly armored, I don't want to get them too close. So let's go up to this guy again. Let's see how you like this. Nice. 
Maybe we can convince that guy to punch out. Okay, the uh, Sentinel's going first. I'm hoping he jams soon. Oh, you decide to move in. Okay. That may change my targeting then. AC, this guy's got light armor, right? So... Like, I think, I think it's a 40-tonner. Yeah. Yes, Commander. Um, I'm gonna get you to reserve again. I'm concerned, though, that she's taking a bunch of damage already. I'm just... It's this raptor here that I'm worried about more than anything. What are you gonna do? Okay. That's what I was hoping you would do. Oh, they don't like me at all. They do not. Hey. And it's better that they don't like you. Actually, let's hold on. Got a plan. Order. I got a plan, Stan. On the move. Full speed. Gonna get up here. Hide from that hunchback. We're going to Vigilance to hopefully get initiative next turn if we don't manage to um, kill these guys as I'm hoping that we're, gonna, we're gonna kill them. Copy that. Okay. Yeah. Waiting for orders. Okay. On my way. Get down here. Side strike this raven. Or raptor, I mean. Everything on. Sensors. Commencing alpha strike. Nice. Aye, aye. Okay, so I guess we can now just I guess I can't just move to a place where I can see him. Oh, I can go here. Oh no. Wait a minute, so my right side's got a little bit more armor than my left, talking torso-wise, so we're going to back up here, put our right side to them, drop that, and I think we just shoot this guy. Whoops. Target eliminated. Well, maybe half his stuff is still there. <laughs> Uh, I was hoping I would have a good enough chance to pull that leg on him, but it's probably better that he's just gone. Oh, I mean, I'd like to get more stuff, but it's I think it's just better that he's gone. Alright, let's work on the Sentinel. Where do you have your AC? Can we tell? I, I thought it was in this arm. The right arm. So if we attack from the left side... Copy that. Firing alpha Yeah, Commander. Stay in the open. On my way. You can do more damage, but we get a better chance to hit. Uh, take the better chance to hit right now. Taking the shot. Okay, we blew through. Oh, his ultra's on that side. Damn it. That hit something good. Yep. Okay, it's taking two crits. I don't think the Ultra is going to land, so let's not shoot him again. Because I want that as salvage. Let's go after this guy. Ooh, head hit. Nice. That'll make it harder for him to hit us. Let's see what this Sentinel does. I mean, both the Sentinel and the Hunchback have garbage back armor, so the Cephalus could probably capitalize on both. He's going to run. Okay. Well, he landed both with with a double damaged AC, and he ran. That's where my AC is too. Commander. So that's our. I don't want to turn my side to him. I want him 
to be facing them if I can. Pulling off. Like that. Yeah, a little better on this guy. Good to go. Nice. I'm here. Let's work on finishing off the uh, hunchback. He's got his side to us. I want to take the uh, opportunity to try and get it. Okay, there goes the leg, I think. No, didn't get the leg. Didn't get the knockdown either. Didn't get either. Nope, that's not good. Let's take that. I don't think this guy's Ultra 5's got a minimum range, but we want this though. Turn this off. Turn that off. Right, Commander. There we go. Gotcha. Take Orders. advantage of it when you can. So let's turn our left side, which is our shield arm. Moving out. Which I should have turned before, but I didn't really have the opportunity to do that. Get this on now, because we're probably not going to get a chance to use it later. My bailout. Commander. Short range missiles are out. I want that Ultra 5, so just fucking bail out. Alright, that's a front shot. Roger. Full speed. Minimize the chance to get that uh, arm as best we can here. What do you need? It scares me shooting over the top of my units, but whatever. See if we can get this guy. Come on. Acknowledge. Hell yeah. Orders. Okay, he goes on fifteen. Let's get the narcs and everything on him. He's on fire. Let's hope we hope we don't blow that arm off, but I think there's plenty of salvage here that um, even if we don't get the Ultra 5, we've got good stuff to get. Get some updates. I'd like to take the Raptor parts, but I don't know if that's going to be uh, feasible, really. Okay. That's um Hey. Confusing at best. You've just committed suicide. I'm not sure why you did that. I mean you were gonna die anyway, but I mean Alright, let's go this way. But that hurt. Commander? Okay, this side. Coordinates received. It's the non-AC side. I'm turning the large off. Affirmative. I'm trying to get him to bail out if he'll do it. Yes. Ah ha ha. Beautiful. Mission successful. There's that tricky balance where it's like when you're trying to get an enemy to bail out. It's not necessarily the the the. I don't. At least it doesn't feel like it's the amount of damage. It's the threat threshold of, of them dying, I think, is what the, you, uh, you got to pay attention to the most. I don't think my AC took any damage. No, it didn't. We have a backup anyway, so I'm not worried about it. The Griffin took a bunch of internal hits, but I don't think... I didn't see any components get hit, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, the Cephalus took a bunch of damage, but this thing is so lightly armored that... Uh, it always seems... Like, when you look at it, it always seems worse than what it really is. Okay, let's have a look at what we got. So a lot of sentinel parts. There's only one raptor part. Do I I'm gonna throw it in for now. So here's the Ultra 5. That's an immediate upgrade. Nova CEWS as well. Oh man. Uh Ultra 5 ammo. Yeah, so there's barely anything here. Range centers is nice too. But at this point the only 
person that would benefit from this would be the Talos, but we don't really need that. And I'm going to take this as well. I think that's probably the best of the best here. The small improved heavy laser is really nice too. Ooh, half a ton. That would be really, really good on the Cephalus. But we'd have to pull the tag off to do it, so I don't know if that's worth it or not. Let's go this route. I think this is an immediate upgrade, I think, for what we have. All right, kind of cross-cut part, hunchback part, sentinel part. IATM3, okay, and we got the, uh, we got it, nice. The 240 core, definitely going to keep. The improved fire control system will keep. Primitive sensors can go. Range sensors we got, nice. Spiked helmet is nice. It's minus the gunnery, piloting, and tactics, though. You know what, if we do a melee, I don't know, we might do a melee mech in this series, I'm not sure. I'm not convinced yet that I'll be doing one, but we might. So, eight, ah, okay, we got some IATM ammo too as well, there's 60 shots per. So that's actually, we only got one IATM though. But still, that's pretty nice, not a bad, that's actually a really good grab for a, a third mission. Alright, 49,000, so that's not too bad. Not too bad, I mean, we're not really going up in sea bills at all. But um, that's fine. I mean, we're getting some gear. It's going like, to get us to be able to take higher higher grade missions, and we'll be able to uh, in one day. We'll be able to upgrade uh, Puka here. It's going to cost us five hundred thousand, but it'll be worth it to give her better skills. All right. So I'm going to end this particular episode here. I am going to go ahead in between episodes and do some refits to the Talos. I might consider jumping off this planet. I don't know. I mean, what do we got in the command center here? Uh, this one is going to be tricky because it's against Comstar. So it's going to be six mechs as opposed to four. There's a one skull battle here, but that's against Rasselhag. We don't want to go against Rasselhag if we can avoid it. One and a half destroy base urban against what? Comstar. Destroy base. That's an interesting one. Oh, there's a defend base mission right here for Rasselhag. We'll take that one. I don't mind if we're being attacked by Comstar. We've got turrets and a couple of vehicles, so that's a little better. So we're going to take this one next time. So I'm going to upgrade the uh, Talos, and then we'll see what how, how we can handle that defend uh, base mission. All right, but I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.